Do you even know what we're going to do for the history project? We haven't even thought about that. Only if there was something we could work with. Look, what's that over there? Where? That shiny thing over there. Let's go see. What is it? Office of the Correspondence with the Friends of the Missing Men of the United States Army, Washington, D.C., July 17, 1855. Dear Madam, your communication of July 5th is received, and the name of Thomas J. Paintar will be placed upon my rolls. It will constitute my most earnest endeavor to bring these rolls within the notice of returned soldiers everywhere. Be assured that as soon as any information of interest to yourself is gained, it will be most promptly and cheerfully forwarded to you. Very sincerely yours, Clara Barton. Wasn't Clara Barton a nurse? She was? Yeah. Do you think this document is authentic? I don't know. We can find out if we ask Detective Cho. Detective Cho? Yeah, remember? She came to our class to give a speech last week. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we should call her. Hello? Hi, Detective Yinsu. Yes, this is Dariana, and you might not remember me, but you came to give a speech last week at our school. My friend and I, we found a letter, and it seems to be historical, so we were wondering if you could help us find out more about it. A historical document? That sounds interesting. I'll meet you guys by the San Pablo Beach today in the afternoon. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Thank you. Hi, I'm Detective Jensu. You must be who I spoke on the phone earlier. Yes, I'm Dariana and this is my friend Noemi. You were at her class in a speech last week. Yeah, it's so great to see you again. Yay! Um, so, we found this letter in a bottle at the shore. So, we were actually wondering if you could help us find out a little of its background and why it was at the shore. Oh, yeah. Ah, I see. Letters sent to the families of the missing soldiers that served in the war. By the date of this, it seems like he served during the Civil War that lasted from 1861 to 1865. Regarding its authenticity, I'll have to get this checked by an historian, and she'll be able to answer why it was found by the shore. So about the soldier, if he was, if he went missing after the war, was he ever found? I'm not sure about that. I'll have to get this checked, and I'll get back to you. So, I was wondering why it was written and signed by Clara Barton. Wasn't she just a union nurse? Clara Barton was more than just a union nurse. She was also the founder of the American Red Cross, and she helped look for missing soldiers. I'll have to do more research, and I'll get back to you. And will it be okay if I take this with you? Oh yeah, no problem. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Nice to see you again. Hi, you must be Detective mm -hmm. Cho, yeah. who wanted to know about Claire Barton. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I come here today with some questions for you. Uh huh. This document was brought to my attention, and. I know that it's written by Clara Barton. However, I'm afraid that I don't know much about her other mm -hmm. than that she was a union nurse during the Civil War mm -hmm. and she founded the American Red Cross. Okay, may I see? Mm -hmm. Okay. Clarissa Harlow Barton or 
Clara Barton, as she preferred to be called, was born on December 25, 1821, in Oxford, Massachusetts. Uh, when she became a teacher in 1854, she founded the first public school in Bordentown, New Jersey. Then, when she moved to Washington, D.C., she worked for the U.S. government as a clerk in a patent office. After the Civil War started, she volunteered her services wherever the Union troops would go. She would pack her stuff and go after them, even if it meant risking her own life. I know, Emily. So what did you find for your reason? Well, I found more than I thought I would find. Apparently, on September 17, 1862, at the Battle of Antietam, Maryland, as Clara Barton was kneeling down to give a man a drink of water, a bullet went through her sleeve and, and into the chest of man killing him. For this, she was known as the Angel of the Battlefield because although she came close to death, she was determined to stay and comfort the soldiers in however way she could. I also found that aside from helping the soldiers of war, she helped those soldiers that were missing. Soon after the war, Barton established the Office of Correspondence with Friends of the Missing Men of the United States Army, which was an organization in Washington, D.C. that was used to search for missing soldiers. In total, Barton received and answered over 63,000 letters of families trying to find their beloved. Sarah Barton was able to identify over 22,000 missing men, and Thomas Jefferson Pintar seems to be one of them. This document that you presented to me is a response from Claire Barton to what seems to be Thomas J. Pintar's wife, Miss Pintar. In this letter, Clara Barton is ensuring Miss Pintar that she will have Thomas Pintar's name listed in the role of missing soldiers, such as this one. With that being said, it is apparent that Thomas J. Pintar was one of those 22,000 missing soldiers that were later identified because of other evidence that I found about him serving the military during the Civil War. As you can see in this U.S. Civil War draft registration records from 1863 to 1865, Mr. Pintar's name is listed here as a 21-year-old married white male from New York. This means that there was a man such as Thomas Jefferson Paintar. Aside from that, if you take a look at this other document, the New York Civil War Muster Roll Abstract from 1861 to 1900, it shows you Paintar's name, his age, the date he was enlisted, where he was born, as well as his death and the date of death. So this validates that there was a Thomas Exactly. But how about the authenticity of this paper? Was it really written by Clara Barton? Well, one way that you can tell if a document is authentic or not is by looking at the signature. As you can see in this authentic paper that was signed by her and the paper that you're presenting me, both signatures look identical in the sense that the loops and the T's and the B's in both signatures are presented the same. Oh, okay. So this letter ended up in the short. Do you happen to know how it ended up there? That is a very good question, but there's really no one answer to that. Perhaps Clara Barton was walking by a seashore on her way to send the letter when she either fell and dropped it, or someone pushed her. There may be many possibilities. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is very important. You're very welcome. It was very nice to meet you. Well, as I promised, I was able to find more information about the documents. And according to the historian, there was such a man named Thomas C. Paintner. He served during the war and he, was, he died in combat in July 12, 1864. And his wife, Miss Paintner, asked Clara Barton to enlist her husband into the role of missing soldiers. Therefore, Clara Barton was able to respond to her request through this letter. 
Wow, that's amazing. But do you know why the bottle was found at the shore? No one really knows. I guess it's up to our imagination to know. Well, thank you. You really helped us. Oh, bye. bye. And if there's anything you need to know, then you know who to call. Yes, we know. So. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Wow, it's been a really cool and amazing experience. I mean, learning about this wonderful and inspiring woman that helped so many soldiers and finding the actual letter. I mean, out of all the people in the world, we found it. How awesome is that? I mean, what are the odds? Um, what letter are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Mariana? Mariana? Okay. Noemi, I have a great idea for a history project. Maybe you should walk towards me. What's your water? <laughs> Well, apparently, I found more than I thought. Um... No! Ah, I didn't get that. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? Okay. <laughs>